What is up guys, Jav here, back today, jumping into Destiny 2. Now it is Friday, which means Zer is back, our friendly neighbourhood trash collector. He is over in the tower again this week. You'll find him over in a tower hangar on the right hand side. So let's take a look and see what goodies he's got for us this week then. All right, cool. So we've got the faded engram. So if there's anything you're looking to fill out for your year one collections, be sure to pick this one up for 97 shards. But as always, guys, be sure to pick them up here first, just to make sure you don't get a duplicate and waste your opportunity of getting a unique drop. Quick scan for the week then. So we have Graviton Lance, which is the exotic pulse rifle, Stompies for the hunter, Transversive Steps for the warlock, and Ursa Furiosa for the titan. Cool, Graviton Lance then. So this is the exotic pulse. Black hole being the intrinsic perk where the second shot of a burst rips a hole through space time, doing high damage and recoil with no fall off. It also has cosmology where kills with this weapon cause enemy targets to detonate and spawn void projectiles that track targets. This one is an awesome weapon. It behaves more like a scout rifle, if I'm honest. Uh, it's very slow rate, but it's very hard hitting. Um, so if you'd like to sit, at the back of lanes in crucible then i guess this would be a good weapon to try and um, it had its moments but and it is still a good weapon in my opinion so if you don't have it definitely grab it if you need it stompies now first things first guys these are arc unfortunately but these are a very popular exotic with hunters so we have hydraulic boosters here where we increase sprint speed and slide distance improves high jump strafe jump and triple jump these are very much the go-to, especially in Crucible for a lot of hunters. Um, I haven't had the chance to use them too much in Crucible. I use them a lot in PvE though. Unfortunately, we can't re-roll the Infinities and the rolls are pretty poor with a 48 stat still being bugged, which hopefully they'll fix very soon. But if you are a hunter and you want better mobility, then this is definitely one worth picking up, guys. Transversive Steps. Similar story for the Warlock here in terms of mobility. So these are, again, Arc Affinity, really poor low stat, 48. Uh, Strange Protractor is the armor's perk where sprint speed is increased. And after a short sprint, your currently equipped weapon is automatically reloaded. So again, very popular for Warlocks in PvP, purely for the increased mobility, but also the automatic reload is very effective as well. Again, if you don't have it, these are an OG exotic, but they're definitely worth picking up nevertheless. And Ursa Furiosa, so for the Titan here. So we have Ursine Guard, move faster while guarding with Sentinel Shield is active. Guarded damage converts to super energy when the super ends. These are a Void Affinity with a 50 stat this time. So as again, pretty run of the mill in terms of roll. Um, I personally haven't had an opportunity to use these guys, so I'm not going to try and claim where they're good or where they're bad. But in the comment section below, definitely feel free to fill in the gap here and let me know where this best sits and what builds this best works with. But I don't think I have those, so I'm going to pick them up for my Titan. And let's have a look and see what the Fated Engram grants for us this week. Eternal Warrior. All right. Uh, so any consumables, if you're still working on here, will be positioned here. So five of swords if you need it. And any invitations, if they're outstanding for the week, can be found at the bottom with Sir. So that's D2. For Destiny 1, we have the Helm of Innermost Light for the Titan. We've got a Legacy Engram there for some boots. Nemesis Star, which is a great exotic machine gun. Transverse Steps again over in D1. And Young Amankara Spines for the Hunter for a very poor roll of 85 and any of those armor pieces will cost you 13 strange coins and the weapon will cost you 17 should you need them so that's going to wrap up Zer for this week guys apologies for my throat i have a little bit of a sore one today but i hope you enjoyed the video nevertheless if you have be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and if you're new around here i want to keep up to date with all the latest destiny 2 content then be sure to hit subscribe as well I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I'll catch you all again very soon.